Hi there, how's it going today? This is going to be a nice one. This is a really cool truck. It's a 1976 FJ40. Uh, we just finished doing a major stage three restoration with modifications. This is a TLC brand project. So just to clarify for those that don't know, in general terms, TLC focuses on utilizing more of the original trucks and restoring them dead stock or with moderate modifications and things to sort of expand upon their utility as opposed to Icon which is sort of a far more radical approach where we just kind of have at it and take a lot more design liberties with the truck. So something like this really makes sense in that it still exudes a nostalgia um, but it's a hell of a lot more drivable than it was when delivered back in 76. So client came to us and said, all right, I want a restored FJ 40. I'd like to have a little more power, a little more versatility. And uh, we actually had this truck in inventory and we had identified it specifically as a great candidate for a restoration like this. It was still the original paint. It was green, really nice body, good shape. So it really worked out. It was an excellent blank canvas upon which we could do this sort of work. So this is what we referred to as stage three restoration, which is sort of the finest, highest level that we offer at TLC. That basically means we take the truck all the way down to the raw frame, media blast, epoxy powder coat, then black powder coat, finish the chassis, completely remanufacture the axles, replate all the hardware, upgrade to stainless where viable. Basically no stone unturned, comprehensive restoration. Specifics on this exact truck, painted it the Sahara tan factory color. Um, just kind of everyone's favorite quintessential old Land Cruiser color, myself included. It was a bare metal respray done right. Uh, while apart, prior to reassembly, the body was placed on a rotisserie and inverted so that we could spray on the heat cured polyurea coating instead of conventional undercoating on the underside of the body assembly and fenders prior to reassembly, as well as on the inside floors. So this offers a really good environmental barrier and also gives you a little bit of vibration dampening as well, which is always welcomed. We dynamat line the doors, of course, as well. All weather stripping, all badges, all light lenses, all locks, trim, blah, 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 all of that brand new OEM where possible. And then the powertrain in this truck uh, is really nice. Uh, this features the General Motors 5.3 E-Rod aluminum fuel injected small block V8. So that's a fully emission certified motor with a two year 50K warranty at the GM dealer. Excellent product. Unfortunately, this is, I believe, just about the very last 5.3 E-Rod that was available. GM decided to discontinue it. I guess most people were opting for the big boy, the 6.2 LS3, but I don't know, I'm gonna miss this motor. I think it really was an excellent fit. They put out about 325 horse, so plenty of power without being stupid, and the most efficient of the small block V8s. We are pairing a brand new Toyota H55F five-speed manual transmission to that E-Rod V8, which in turn is sending power through the late model, meaning August of 1980 and later model, um, split case, transfer case, way quieter and stronger than the case that would have been in this truck stock. The other benefit by running that transfer case is we get rid of that stupid drum uh, in line with the drive shaft, which was for parking brake. So now we're running four wheel disc brakes and the parking brake is tied to the rear calipers. For suspension, we're running our old man Emu Springs, which we love, but we've enhanced those by working with our buddies at Fox Racing to run Fox Racing shocks valves specifically for the truck. Super happy with that and we're gonna continue to do that for sure. We're running an underdash heat vent AC system with defrost. That's running, of course, the modern style refrigerants. 
and we're running the Icon front seats, which have been upholstered in the popular Bison hide. We also reskinned the front door panels in the Bison hide, as well as the factory jump seats in the back. For audio, we're running a Tuffy narrow center console with the sub compartment for the Alpine head unit. So we're running a iDevice interface plug and Bluetooth functionality and all that good stuff. Gauges on the truck are dead stock, although we had them completely rebuilt, of course. We left the odometer at an honest 88,000 miles. Headliners new, visors are new, all weather stripping is new, blah, blah, blah. Uh, bumpers, icon spec bumpers, front and rear. And just for you guys who have stock FJ40s know, our bumpers are designed to fit a stock truck and we just started listing and selling those on our website. So that's pretty much my whole story. Thought you guys would appreciate this truck. It's a really nice one. Um, it's been a while since we've turned out one of these at TLC, so I was pretty excited to share. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Our phone number is 818-280-3330. Our website is tlc4x4.com. You can follow us on Facebook through my personal page, Jonathan Ward. And then TLC's Instagram action is combined with icons at icon4x4. And uh, there you go. Thanks again. Have a great day.